we bought a insane amount of shoes literally my whole room right here is filled with them i don't know exactly how much but i i'm thinking close to like three four thousand dollars worth of shoes youtube what is going on everyone it's your boy ac back with another video and today is episode 89 of the little series where we take 100 dollars and we continuously buy trade and sell sneakers so we make a hundred thousand dollars now not only am i very excited for this episode for a multitude of reasons but the main one is that nike is having their friends and family events again during this episode so best believe we are buying a crazy amount of shoes this episode plus we have a stupid amount of cash in hand so it should be no problem whatsoever buying all this stuff from last episode for all the buying trading and selling all that great stuff in between we have a brand new grand total of fifty five thousand dollars nine hundred and eighty two dollars and fifty one cents a crazy amount of money in pure cash that we have we could probably literally buy out the entire Nike outlet with that amount of money. And this video will go live on August 19th, which is the CSX event. So unfortunately, if you're watching this now, it's a little too late to buy your tickets to go to the event. However, maybe around Monday is when I'll post a video about CSX. Give me a few days to edit it all down and everything. Be on the lookout for that video because I know that video is going to be insane. <laughs> I'm so excited for that event. With all that being said, we're going to go to the malls three times this episode. And if you're new here, pretty much we just condense all the footage into a quick like 30 second montage for you guys. So you're not here wasting a lot of your time. So with that being said, let's waste some more time. Head up to the malls and see what we're picking up this episode. <laughs> them i don't know exactly how much but i i'm thinking close to like three four thousand dollars worth of shoes first off we have these some curry tens now i think this is the first time i've ever had curries on this channel this is a shoe that a lot of people will just pass up on everyone wonders how do you make money doing all this stuff it's literally all in these videos i spit some mad facts during these and this is no exception it is this pair right here the northern lights colorway now, you're probably wondering, why would you buy a colorway like this? It's nothing special. This is the exact reason. They went all the way down to $99.99. And at that price point, the retail price is $190. So getting them for $100, I can probably realistically sell these for $160. Now, I did get one of the better sizes, a size 13, which for basketball shoes, if you don't know, usually you want to try to get the bigger sizes because 90% of the time when you're playing basketball, You'll notice the people around you have some big ass feet. So with that being said, this is going to be a really good profitable shoe. Do I know if it's a good basketball shoe or anything? I have no clue. Don't really play basketball like that. But if you guys have some Curry 10s in your collection for hooping, let me know in the comments below. Are these a good basketball shoe? But we still have a ton of stuff to go through. So we're going to try to like do this a little bit faster. So let's move over to the next thing we got, which is this pair. The Jordan 12 Hyper Royals, a women's exclusive. And a lot of you guys are probably going to say the exact same thing. These are absolute bricks. Why would you spend money on these? There's no way you can make any profit on these. And yes, that is true. These are bricks. They're worth a lot less than what retail price is. But I don't pay retail for majority of these stuff that you see. Take a guess how much we paid on these. The retail price on these, 260 Canadian dollars. Put in the comments below, how much do you think we paid for these? Because it's nowhere near that. I'm assuming it's not taking you that long to comment your answer because the answer is we paid a grand total of $95.54. An absolute steal in my opinion for some Jordan 12s, especially in the sizes that we did get. Looking back at it, I wish I would have grabbed some more. I honestly wish I just cleaned them out of all of these and just took every pair they had because for 95 bucks, that's that's a really good price for these. I should be able to move these for like the $150 mark-ish, 
maybe a little bit lower for sure between 120 to 150 dollars honestly and we got a size nine and a half nine eight and a half and eight women's in these and yeah like i said i wish i like cleaned them out of all these because i think this was a steal for that low of a price i should have got more of them but we got we got a bunch of stuff i'm not gonna lie the outlet was crazy today so let's move over to the next thing which is this pair the nike zoom court light three in this white and black colorway another shoe you're probably wondering why we picked them up and it's because with that nike friends and family card that we had we got everything in that store for 30 percent off if you didn't know that that's why those jordan 12s are so cheap and yeah we got these for around 40 bucks which isn't anything crazy but we should be able to make a little bit of profit on these a size 11 definitely a shoe that i can make some profit on especially being that cheap but let's move over to the next pair which is this one the jordan sophia slide in this black and a little bit of red colorway honestly i didn't really think that much about these we got them for super cheap we got them for around 40 bucks and the retail on these are around the 105 dollar markup now i know a lot of you guys are probably thinking 40 bucks for some slides especially this ugly slide is still a lot of money but the listings online of these are doing pretty well especially for the size nine women's, which is the size we got. And yeah, another weird shoe that honestly, a lot of people skip out, don't even think twice about looking them up. Another shoe that I'm just gonna get some easy profit on, which you absolutely love to see. We still have a ton more to go through. So let's go over to this pair. These LeBron six witnesses in this triple white colorway. We picked up four pair sizes, 10, nine, eight, and a seven and a half. And we got them for $73.49 per pair. Now I know I always preach that you should get bigger sizes in basketball shoes, but in this case, getting them for this cheap, regardless of the size, I'm still gonna be able to make some profit on these. And yeah, just a really basic like outlet basketball shoe. We also got a different colorway, which is this one. This colorway in the clear emerald wild berry colorway. Definitely a colorway I like a lot better than the other pair. We did get a bigger size than this one, a size 10 and a half. And yeah, I do like this colorway a lot better. We paid the exact same price. But for some reason, the all white pair are doing a little bit better than this green pair on the resale market. But again, regardless, another pair we're going to make some good profit on. Pretty fast profit too. A lot of these things that we're picking up are quick flips. Things that move really fast in our inventory that we do make a decent amount of profit on considering we don't have them in our inventory for that long but moving on we also have this pair this pair of nike sb alley oops now if you have been watching you know we picked these up before pretty sure we picked these up around like boxing day for a pretty good discount i think we got them for around the same amount that we got them today we got two pairs a size 10 and a half and a 10 and we paid 51 dollars and 44 cents and a shoe that i should probably be able to get around 80 bucks for Again, like I said, these are all just quick flips, stuff that move really fast for us. But this is a pair we're probably going to get around $20 for in profit. Same thing with this next pair. The same shoe, just in this game royal colorway. We paid the same amount, $51.44. And we got a size 13. And for some reason, these ones don't seem to be doing as great as the all black pair, which is really surprising. I would think this colorway would do a whole bunch better. I guess that black colorway is a lot more popular for some reason. But yeah, really not that much to say about these. Let's move over to the next pair, which is this one. These blazer low Sakai's in this triple white colorway. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty cool. I don't think I would wear these as a personal, but they do look, they do look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. We did get a size nine and a half. I'm not too sure the exact price we did pay for these. I think it was around 125 bucks. However much it will be, it will be at the end of the video when we go through our tally. I feel like these would be super comfortable on foot just because of all that extra padding, the double tongues and stuff. I don't know. I feel like these would be mad comfy on feet. If any of you guys have any of the Sakai blazers, let me know in the comments below. Are these comfortable or not? Because from the looks of it, it does look pretty comfortable, but... Let's move over to the next pair, which is this one. An old time classic, the Nike Roshi Runs, a shoe that's been around for a long time that is, you know, seen its ups and definitely have seen their downs. We bought a bunch of these. We got two 13s, a 12, a two 11s, two 10 and a half, a 10 and a nine and a half. Crazy thinking about how expensive these used to be back in the day because we got all those for $51.44 per pair. And yes, the Roshi one hype is definitely dead, but getting them for 50 bucks, I should be able to make some profit on these. And it's a shoe that should sell very, very fast. So I'm pretty happy about that. We did get some other colorways like this one. 
I'm pretty sure this one's called the Iguana colorway. We got a seven and a half and a size 10, pay the exact same amount. I'm not too sure how I feel about this colorway, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I like it more than that all black colorway. But yeah, just a bunch of Roshi ones that I think we'll be able to sell really fast considering we only got them for $51. But this isn't the only colorway we got. We also got this other colorway, this red colorway, another pair of Roshi ones, you know, we only got one pair of these, a size seven and a half. We did buy a bunch more of the black ones and these other different color ones just because black ones are selling way better than these different colors. This red one, it's a really good colorway for like a workout shoe, but the black one is the best by far. So let's move over to something else that's not some Roshis, which is this pair. This Jordan Access in the bread colorway. We had these before on the channel, probably again during that Christmas time of Boxing Day. We got a size 11 and we paid $66.14 for these. Again, a shoe that I can probably move for around that 80-ish dollar mark, not giving us a crazy amount of profit, but at the end of the day, the volume is what's gonna give us a lot of profit. Let's move over to another pair of budget Jordans, which is these Jordan liftoffs in this Concord colorway. We paid a little bit more than the other pair, we paid $73.49 for them. And again, a shoe that I'm probably gonna make a little bit of profit on, not a crazy amount or anything. Definitely not my favorite looking model of these budget Jordans. Really not a fan of the liftoff model whatsoever. But with that being said, we did pick up another pair of liftoffs, which is in this colorway. This white cement colorway, definitely a lot cleaner of a colorway than that Concord. A size 13, paid the exact same as the other pair, $73.49. And yeah, just a Jordan model that I am just not a fan of whatsoever. Even in this white cement colorway, it, it just doesn't do it for me. I'm not a fan of these whatsoever. But let's move over to something else. This pair of Jordan 2 Cool Grays. Honestly, a good looking colorway on these Jordan 2s. You guys know it by now, I really hate the Jordan 2 model, especially the low tops. However, this colorway is pretty nice on there. I do really like this like light hints of blue all around this gray. We got two size nines and we paid around 150 bucks for these. Should be able to move them for around 180. We did get two size nine women's. It is a women's exclusive. Definitely not the worst Jordan 2 colorway I've seen. There's been some pretty ugly ones but this one it's okay i'm not too mad at it but at the end of the day still a jordan 2 not my favorite model whatsoever and if you really think about it jordan was about to leave nike because of this model that just goes to show how terrible the jordan 2 model is but let's move over to the next thing which is this one this giant pair of reebok shack attacks in the orlin colorway we got a size 11 12 nine and a half and a nine and the only reason we picked these up is because of how cheap we got them on sale. I think original retail price of these are around that $260 markup. We got them for $136.49 per pair. And I think I should be able to move them for around that $180 markup, which is really weird because these Reebok Shack attacks, in my humble opinion, are very 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 ugly but you guys have to let me know in the comments below if you saw these on sale for 136 were you picking them up because i was very surprised once i saw that these had some resale value but other than that not a good looking shoe but it does have that pump on it so i guess that's a cool little like gimmick to the shoe but other than that i'm not a big fan of them so let's move over to the next thing on the list which is this pair these air max 90 golf nrg players championship colorway i really really like this colorway the paneling on the shoe has an iridescent finish on it which makes it look really really cool when it hits the light plus it has a bunch of little gold accents on it the tongue has this gold stamp on it which looks really cool although it is a golf shoe it's definitely a pair of air max 90s i would see myself walking around as just a normal shoe and on the inside it does say brush off and find the hidden treasure lots of cool little details on this shoe definitely one of the cooler air max 90s that the nike outlet has had if you guys remember a few episodes ago we did buy another pair of air max 90s that was kind of the same thing as this but it had a lot more like red and like lightning on the side it was a pretty cool pair too but this one definitely the best we got three pairs we got two size 11s and a nine and a half definitely one of the cooler pairs we picked up today but we also got these these nike free fly knits rn 2018s in this oreo colorway you've definitely seen these on the channel before we bought a bunch of these we only picked up a size nine and a half for 66 dollars and 14 cents definitely a shoe that always makes us some good money that really doesn't take that long to sell shoes like this is usually a very hot seller for me just because they're a really basic everyday type of shoe that anyone can wear yeah we also got another pair of these in this colorway 
the triple white colorway. Now this one isn't a fly knit material. However, we still did pick these up. We paid the exact same amount on these ones, but we got two pairs, a size nine and a half and a nine. Again, shoes that move really fast for us. These triple white ones have been doing a little bit better than the other pair, but really both of them do sell pretty good. But yeah, this model, I'm not a big fan of them whatsoever. The bottoms on them, I don't know, they're too narrow for me. And when I wear them, I feel like I'm going to snap my ankles. So I am not a fan of this model whatsoever, but who cares? They sell, they give us some money. So that's all we can really ask for. But we also got this pair. These Air Force One mids in this chocolate colorway. Now it's an all around brown suede Air Force One mid. And we've had these on the channel before. They did pretty well. However, this time we got them for a really good price. We got a size nine and we paid $88.17. And definitely a shoe that's gonna give us a good ROI on these ones. Just because before they were selling really, really well. And since we got them on sale with that 30% off because of the friends and family, there's gonna be a no brainer that we can probably sell these for upwards to $150. But yeah, let's move over to another pair of Air Forces that we got for an insane deal, which is this pair. These Air Force One Lows, West Coast Los Angeles. Now this pair is insane. It is a grade school size seven Y, but the details all around the shoe and the quality honestly is pretty nice. The sock lining inside is really, really nice. As you guys can see, it's all stitched up like that. It does also have a license plate on the bottom that says Nike Air as well as Nike Coast. Yeah, a bunch of really cool details all throughout the shoe. The side panel only has that LA stitched into it. And then it has a huge metal piece that goes on the laces that has the Nike coast with a Nike swoosh on it. Really just a cool pair of Air Force One loads. And we paid stupidly cheap for them. We paid $61.41 for them. Just an amazing price for these. I think these will sell super well for us. Unfortunately, like I said, it is a grade school size. But other than that, just a cool pair of Air Force One. But... We still have a bunch of stuff to go through, so let's speed this up. We also picked up these. This pair of Jordan Hydro 6 slides. We got them for a really good price. We only paid $29.34 for them. And it's a thing that I could probably get 50 bucks for. Yeah, having that 30% off friends and family discount really helped us a lot get a bunch of these shoes for decently cheap that we can flip for a good profit. Because if we didn't have that 30% off, a lot of these shoes just honestly wouldn't be worth picking up. But with that 30%, shoes like these it's a good time to pick them up. So we got one pair a size 12. Let's move over to the next thing. These black and white pair of Air Max Pluses. They are a women's exclusive. It's a seven and a half women's. We got them for a crazy steal. $110.24 for them. Unfortunately, it was their last size, but picking them up for that cheap. You guys, if you have been watching, you know Air Max Pluses have done extremely good for us and this is no exception this pair should sell for at least hundred and like fifty dollars so it's forty dollars profit and yeah you really can't complain about that we only have a few more shoes left but we did get a bunch of them let's move over to this pair these vapor max leopard printed we got four pairs of them and usual retail on these are 270 dollars but we picked them up for 99 dollars and 99 cents we got sizes seven and a half seven six and a half and six women and yeah getting them for that cheap is an insane steal in my opinion i've had a bunch of these in different colorways and i know that they sell really well especially at that cheap of a price point now, i don't know why everyone likes this model so much i really hate them especially walking with them I used to play soccer a bunch and just walking with these on feels like I'm wearing my soccer cleats around. I just don't like it. I don't find them comfortable whatsoever, but a lot of people swear these are stupidly comfortable. But for me, I really hate them. But let's move over to some more things. We only got three more shoes, but we bought a bunch of them. And one of them is this pair, this black and white pair of the Nike Air Max Flyknit Racers. I really don't like this model. I really don't like it whatsoever. It's really ugly in my opinion. Has a huge bubble in the back of the shoe. Only reason we picked them up is because we got them for a really good price of $58.77 each. And we got sizes 11, 10.5, 10, 9.5, 9, and an 8.5. And, and yeah, the only reason we really picked them up is because we got them on that discount. But I really don't like this shoe. I can probably sell them for around that $80 to $100 price point. And I guess it doesn't matter if I like the model or not because someone's gonna buy it and give me some nice profit but we have two more shoes let's move on to the next one which is this pair 
A pair you should be somewhat familiar with, the Billie Eilish Air Force One High. Now, am I the biggest fan of this colorway? No, I did really like that tan colorway way more than this one, but we got these for a steal. The original retail price of these were 235 Canadian dollars, and we got them all the way down to $58.77. An absolute insane discount that we got these, and we got sizes 10 and a half, three tens, two nine and a halfs, and a nine crazy discount on these these should move i should be able to at least at least double my money on these considering we got them all the way from 58 bucks yeah at least double our money on these very happy you got these for such a steal but with that being said we actually have two more pairs left i just missed one of them let's go over to that one now which is this pair this black pair of nike free rn 5.0s now these aren't anything special they're one of the newer models of the nike free rns definitely is a big improvement than that 2018 pair in my opinion at least and yeah retail on these 135 bucks and we got them all the way down to 66 dollars and 14 cents and i do see people wearing these often and yeah i should at least be able to get a hundred dollars maybe even around 120 dollars from these but that being said let's move over to the last thing we bought by far the most from those because we got them for a stupid discount which is this pair another very familiar pair if you guys have been watching the air max 95 n7 now these these came out this year original retail price was around 235 i believe we got them all the way down to 58 dollars and 77 cents we bought a bunch of them we got a size 12 11 and a half 10 and a half 10 9 and a half 9 8 and a half and a 7 and a half and yeah getting them that cheap i should be able to make between a hundred dollars to a hundred and fifty dollars per pair which is insane again a shoe that i'm really happy we got because at that price point it should be next to impossible not to make any profit from these but yeah that was a lot of things that we just bought very long episode i've been recording for close to an hour now so let's pray i can edit this down to a reasonable length so with that being said let's go through everything that we did sell this episode because we did sell a decent amount of stuff Starting with the women's Air Max Plus White, we sold the 10, 9, 8.5, 8, 7, and 6.5 and women's. Then in the white grape ice colorway, we sold both of the 13s, the 11, 10 and a half, 10, both of the 9s, and the 8. Then in the black silver white colorway, we sold all three of the 13s, all four of the 12s, both of the 11 and a half, all three of the 10 and a half, the 10, all three of the 8 and a half, and an 8. Then in the black university blue colorway, we sold the size 13, 12, 11, and 10 and a half. Then in the white pure platinum colorway, we sold both of the 13s, all three of the 12s. 12s, all four of the 11s, and both of the 10 and a halfs. Then in the Spiragon colorway, we sold the 13, 10 and a half, both of the 9 and a halfs, and the 9. Then in the Photo Dust Varsity Red, we sold the size 10 and a half. Then in the Air Max 97 Triple Black, we sold the size 7. And yeah, hopefully that helps us out because we bought thousands of dollars of stuff this episode so with that being said let's go over everything we have in our inventory including the things we just bought starting with then in the under armor curry flow 10 northern lights we have a size 13 then in the lebron witness 6 summit white metallic petra colorway we have a size 10 and 9 8 and 7 and a half then in the clear emerald wild berry colorway we have a 10 and a half then in the reebok shack attack orlando we have a size 12 11 9 and a half and 9 Starting off with the Yeezy 350 V2 in the cream colorway, we got a size 9.5. Then in the Nike J1 Family Trivia, we have a 10.5. Then in the Golf NRG Players Championship, we have two 11s and a 9. Then in the Joker colorway. Then in the Light Bone colorway, we have a size 10.5 and 9.5. And then in the N7 colorway, we have two 12s, an 11.5, 10, two 10s, and a 9.5, 9, 8.5, and, and, and a 7. And a half then in the air max plus black and white we have a size seven and a half women's then in the nike roshi run black anthrite sale we have two 13s a 12 two 11s two 10 and a half a 10 and nine and a half then in the iguana colorway we have a seven and a half and ten then the sport red cool gray colorway we have a seven and a half then in the air force one high billy eilish sequin we have a size ten and a half three tens two nine and a half and a nine then in the nike air force one 
mid QS chocolate. We have a size nine. Then the Air Force One low triple white. We have an 11 and a half. Then in the reflective swoosh white blue colorway, we have a size 13. Then in the Uno colorway, we have a 12, nine and a half, seven, three, six and a half, and a six. Then in the University blue, we have a size 13, 11 and a half, 11 and eight. Then in the white metallic silver colorway, we have an eight and a half. Then in the white chocolate colorway, we have a 10 and a half and eight and a half. Then in the triple red colorway, we have three 13s, five 12s, three 10 and a halfs, six nine and a halfs, seven nine, five eight and a halfs, and two size eight. Then in the West Coast Los Angeles colorway, we have a size seven Y. Then in the Nike Blazer Low Sakai white patent leather, we have a size nine and a half. The Air Max One Crate Brown, we have two 13s, a 12 and a half, 12, three 11 and a halfs, two 11s, a 10 and a half, two 10s, two nine and a halfs, two nines, and eight and a half three seven and a half a six and a half and six then in the george green colorway we have a size eight and seven then in the dirty denim colorway we have two thirteens two twelves two ten and a half a ten and eight and a half then in the air max flyknit racer black and white we have a size eleven ten and a half ten nine and a half nine and eight and a half then the air max thea mid ale brown colorway we have an eleven eight three seven and a half and a seven women's then in the black sail colorway we have a nine eight and a half three eights a seven and a half and six and a half women then in the nike zoom court light three white and black we have a size 11 then in the nike free run 5.0 black and white we have a size 12 then in the nike free rn fly knit black white ombre we have a size nine and a half then in the white colorway we have a nine and a half and nine then in the nike vapor max fly knit leopard we have a seven and a half seven six and a half and six women's then in the leopard colorway we have a nine and a half eight and a half seven and a half and five and a half women's then in the sb alley oop black white we have a size 10 and a half and 10 then in the black royal colorway we have a size 13 then in the peach cream colorway we have a size 10 women's two nine and a half a nine two eight and a half and eight two seven and a half a seven and six women then in the just do it sale team red we have a six and a half women's then in the indigo haze we have an eight and seven and a half women's then in the phantom metallic gold colorway we have an eight Eight and a half, nine and a half, and two ten women. Then in the Terry swoosh colorway, we have a ten, nine and a half, nine, eight and a half, and five women. Then in the light smoke gray colorway, we have a six and seven women. Then in the Arizona state colorway, we have a thirteen and twelve. Then in the pink Oxford colorway, we have a ten. Two nine women, two eight and a half, a seven and a half, seven and six and a half women's. Then in the next nature rift blue colorway, we have a size ten. Then in the essential paisley pack barely, we have a size seven and a half women's. Then in the paisley pack pink colorway, we have a seven and a half and six and a half women's. Then in the Miami Huracans colorway, we have a size thirteen. Then in the gorge green midnight navy, we have a nine and a half women's and seven women's. Then in the NBA seventy fifth anniversary Knicks colorway. We we have a 10 and a half. Then in the next nature Homer Simpsons, we have a six and a half Y. Then in the 3D swoosh gray colorway, we have two five and a half Ys. Then in the two-tone gray colorway, we have a 7Y and a 4Y. Then in the pandas, we have an 11 and a half, 11, 9 and a half, 8 and a half, a 9 women's, 3, 3Ys three and a 2Y. Then in the team gold colorway, we have two 12s and a 10 and a half. Then in the rose whisper colorway, we have a size 10 and 9 and a half women's. Then in the industrial blue sashiko colorway, we have a size 13. Then in the active fuchsia colorway, we have a size 7Y and 6Y. Then in the Deadpool colorway, a six and a half Y. Then in the Anthrite white colorway, we have a size 12, 11, 10, nine and a half, and nine. Then in the Jordan Access bread, we have a size 11. Then in the Jordan Liftoff Black Dark Concord, we have a size 11. Then in the white cement colorway, we have a size 13. Then in the Jordan Hydro 6 black, we have a size 12. Then in the Jordan Sophia Slide black and red, we have a size nine women's. Then in the Jordan Zion 2 Voodoos, we have three 10 and a halfs and two 10. Then in the Jordan 14 Laney's, we have two 12s and a seven and a half. 
Then in the Jordan 13 University Blue, we have eight 13s, four 12s, six 11 and a half, six 11s, a 10 and a half, and nine and a half. Then in the Black Flint, we have three 13s, three 12s, two 11 and a half, two 11s, three 10 and a half, two 10s, a nine and a half, nine and eight. Then in the French Blue colorway, we have a six and a half and six Y. Then in the Playoff colorway, we have a seven Y, nine and a half, nine and two eights. Then in the Jordan 12 Hyper royal we have a size we have a size nine and a half nine eight and a half and eight women's then in the jordan 11 cherries we have a size 10 eight and a half eight six y two four and a half y's three four y's and two three and a half y's then in the jordan six georgetowns we have six 13s two 12s six 11 two ten and a half a ten two nine and a half a nine and eight then in the chrome metallic colorway we have two 13s two 12s two five and a half y's and two five y's then in the cool gray colorway we have two 13s and two 12s then in the jordan 4 midnight navy we have two size five y's then in the seafoam colorway we have a size 10 and nine and a half women's then in the midnight navy we have a three y two two y's three 12 c's and two 11 c's then in the thunders we have an 11 and a half 10 and nine then in the jordan 2 chicago we have a size six and a half y and six y then in the cool gray colorway we have two size nine women's then in the marina blue colorway in a size six women's then in the chicago flip colorway we have a nine women then then in the true blue colorway we have a size 11 and eight and a half then in the white toe colorway we have a four and in the stealth colorway we have a size 10 9 eight and a half eight and seven and a half women then in the jordan one high taxis we have two seven wides four 13 and a size eight then in the lost and found colorway we have a size one and a half y two one wise a five c and a seven c then in the nyc to paris colorway we have a seven and a half then the white black volt university gold colorway and a nine and a half. Then in the starfish colorway, we have a seven and a half, seven, two, six and a half, two, six, a five and a half, and five women's. And finally, the Jordan 1 High Dior's in a size nine and a half. And yeah, if you guys are new here and you're wondering how it's been 89 episodes and we only had $55,000. That is why we quite literally have tens of thousands of dollars in our inventory alone. But yeah, like I said, this video is going on for a long time. So if you've made it this far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of my newest videos. Thank you guys for watching to the end. And next episode, there's going to be a bunch of drops like the Jordan 1 Low Black Toe and the Jordan 1 High UNC Toe. So let's pray we can get those, but I guess we'll find out in my next episode.